Well, uh, when we got the letter and our elders looked at this, and our council looked at the questions that, uh, that were given, I'd like to just address those uh, first, is in what way does your church engage and make a difference in your community? And we have a number of things that are going on, uh, but uh, he started a program in the high, in the high school uh, every two weeks on two, and started off with, uh, about a dozen. This since Christmas, and then it went up to about 25, then it went up about 45, and then about 85, down to about 50 or 60 right now, uh, that are coming out. And a lot of these kids have never come to church, let alone to our church. And so it's kind of interesting to have them come. And them are now uh, uh, on Wednesday evenings. Uh, also, uh, we have a young fellow who, uh, when he first came to town, he, he was... Uh, they weren't attending our church, they attended uh, another church in town, Pentecostal church, and they didn't have a youth program. So he'd just come from a town where he had his big youth program, and he, he wanted to start one up. So he, he, in his high school, he, he recruited kids from the high school to start up this youth program. They call it Peace River Action Youth. Pray is the name of the group. Uh, well, they ended up starting to come to our church, but he kept this youth group going. And it's really a sort of a street ministry, even though it's not street kids, but these kids are, are kids that in, in a larger community city, they would probably be roaming the streets most of the time and getting into trouble and, and so on. And uh, some of them have more metal in their faces than up in my little car. Uh, you know, uh, these are the kind of kids, uh, and, but they are coming out and they're doing all sorts of great stuff. 